Hey guys, all right, so we hit our $28,000 target and now you're probably wondering what's gonna happen next. Um, so usually within a, a large pump like this, we're going to consolidate, especially if this comes in sync with the Wyckoff accumulation phase that we were talking about in the previous video. Um, we're basically, uh, we consolidate and this consolidation is gonna build a formation that's gonna dictate whether Bitcoin's gonna go to the upside or to the downside. So. Basically, it's a waiting game, but we can scalp the little formations within the, the macro consolidation phase uh, while we wait to see if we're going to get inside the next range, which is between 28,400 and 32,000 roughly. Uh, but we'll go into the charts really quick and show you what I'm looking for and what I'm preparing for and um, what I want to see in order for Bitcoin to reach that, uh, um, that that range to potentially trade between 28,000 and 31,000. I'd love to get into that range again because usually when it gets caught in that range, it gets stuck there for a little while. Um, but yeah, all right, cool. I'll show you guys what I see on my side. And we'll dive into the charts. All right. Um, if you guys are wondering what that song was, that shim, just friggin' screaming it out all right so we got um let's go to the dxy first so we go over to the dxy we can see that we were tracking this potentially becoming an inverse head and shoulders that's kind of like a big threat that bitcoin could plummet as a result and the technical target for it was up here around 110 and we have this downtrending level of resistance as well that could weigh down the um the valuation of the dxy but right now it's actually looking pretty bearish it's getting outside of this range right here and the only thing that's holding it up is this local price action right here, this little consolidation we had when we we're trying to cob out our way back inside this range. And if we lose this, then the DXY is going to likely drop down to 101.30. And if that happens, then you can likely see Bitcoin get into that $28,000 to $30,000 range. Um, so this is the confluence that you're looking for with the DXY for us to try to get into that range. Um, if we get out of this, um, also, uh, let's dive back into that really quick here. I do want you to be aware of this downtrending resistance right here because it will influence your trades as well. If you see the DXY break above this, you're going to see a bearish reaction in your charts. So anything that you might be trading in for longs and stuff like that, you got to be really cautious and uh, prepare for this potentially to be broken. If it does, then you should be looking more towards shorts, not financial advice, of course. Um, anyways. Going over to the total market cap of crypto as a whole, um, let's zoom in that chart here. Last time we were we had a video post on YouTube here, we were talking about this range right here potentially acting as resistance. It definitely is. We got three attempts to try to get into inside the range, and we failed all three times. Um, but this is the first time we've retested since August 9th of last year. So. Um, this is bound to act as resistance. We had to act as support over here. So basically what we want to see is for a daily candle close inside this range. And if we do, then the next level of resistance we need to look out for is 1.28 trillion. Um, and it will most likely be a volatile um, period right here while we consolidate within this. So just prepare for that. Um, however, we could easily lose this uptrending support here as well and come back down and retest, retest this level. But right now, it is less likely to happen. Um, we don't have a actual formation yet to dictate a large drop like that yet. Um, so basically what I'm rooting for is a daily candle close up here so we can consolidate inside this range again and get that volatility spike and then we can get some really good trades in. Um, going over to... Bitcoin, let's see here. So this is the range I'm talking about right here. We're looking at the total uh, market cap for crypto. Basically, if we get inside that range that we're talking about, we're going to get in confluence with this range as well. So we will see Bitcoin trade between um, 28.5, 20.4K roughly, and 31.7K roughly. Uh, if we zoom out on the daily chart, when this is... Um, an area where we consolidate quite a bit and it acted as really strong support in the past during the previous bull cycle. Um, so basically this is going to be a huge milestone to get back inside this area again. Um, so what we do in the shorter time frames, we look for any formation that's going to help dictate 
we're not gonna get inside that range or not. Um, let's go over to my other chart here. Not that one. Nah, yeah, no, not that one. This one here. All right, cool. So this is what I'm looking for short term. Like this is super short term. This is the hourly time frame right here. Um, so we got this uptrending channel that we're kind of trapped inside, and we are in this little micro um, asymmetrical triangle right here. So if we were to break this to the upside, uh, let's break it down the 15 minute time frame here. Um, oh, it's looking bullish right now. We got like an inverse head and shoulder structure here. Um, so if we get, let's see. Let's grab the target for this. All right, cool. So we'll have a target around 28,900. If we break this to the upside, what you want to see as a confirmation trader is to see price action get uh, above this uh, downtrending resistance. You can do it on the 15 minute time frame. Um, however, since we had some full bodies close above it, I'd recommend waiting for a confirmation bounce. And since we have this uptrending uh, neckline right here for this inverse head and shoulders, if you want to be super cautious, just be aware that if we break out of this, this is likely going to act as immediate resistance. So just prepare for that. And it's also a confluence with the top of this range for this um, in the VVVR right here. So um, just be aware of this level of resistance right here if you decide to enter along on this position because it could immediately push you back down. And this push down could actually cause the confirmation bounce. Uh, so be patient with your entries, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Because uh, if you get a, if you wait for the confirmation bounce, your win rate's gonna increase, and you'll have a better entry and a better location to put your stop loss because you can typically put your stop loss below uh, those confirmation bounces because if we get back below that confirmation bounce again, it's just going to double top anyways and invalidate the entire trade. Um, so that's what I'm looking at short term, like super short term. Uh, for Bitcoin, uh, one thing that's also very relevant for those of you who like to trade altcoins is the Bitcoin dominance chart right now. You can see that we're actually preparing to potentially break out of this or at least coil up inside of it. Um, normally, what ends up happening is um, basically when we want to see this down this resistance here break. And when we if we end up breaking to the upside, What's going to happen in Confluence is we're going to get inside that range we're talking about between 28,400 and 31,000. Um, and we're likely going to see 53% uh, dominance act as resistance and 57% dominance act as resistance along our path. And during any consolidation in these areas, uh, you might see an altcoin season. So um, prepare for that as well. We can see over here, we traded sideways between these two ranges that we're talking about. If we trade sideways within that, we're likely going to see an altcoin season be born within this. Uh, we've already had the, the, the first stages of an altcoin season uh, begin, which is basically fiat running into Bitcoin. And we had that huge spike. Um, and we, obviously, you, you can see that in the charts. We had that massive spike. We had a 35% pump. Um, but anyways, then we see um, money flow from Bitcoin, from people taking profits from the, during consolidation because traders get bored and they put it into Ethereum. We have like a huge like news event about Ethereum potentially flipping Bitcoin. It happens every single time. And then we um, end up seeing people move those funds into the mid caps and low market cap assets. Um, what a, what's a great sign for anyone who wants to buy the uh, quote unquote shit coins, the um, Basically, what you want to see is the network that that coin is involved in rally first, and then the liquidity of those altcoins will start to skyrocket, and it makes it easier for them to pump as a result. So BNB, for example, pumps. Then anything with built within BNB could pump as a result. Um, Avalanche, Cardano, Matic, you, you guys get it. Um, but we're already starting to see those uh, those signs now happening. But I believe that's everything I got for you guys. Um, one thing I did uh, notice as well is this little chart that I built here on the five-day chart. Um, basically, every time we get out of these little gold, this is the golden pocket zone, I like to call it, where you accumulate as much as you possibly can of Bitcoin. You trade and trade and trade during the bear market to prepare for the bull market. And then when these candles turn green, it's basically a sign that we're likely going to have a huge rally and every single time if you were to buy um, after one of these um, um, candles turn green it's a sign getting past this Gaussian channel here the moving average you would come up profitable every single time uh, you can look at it through the entire history of Bitcoin 
Um, but yeah, guys, if you have any questions about everything I said here, you can reach out to me in the Discord. If you'd like to learn how to trade the way I do, you can uh, go to the courses down below. You'll see a link. Also, um, my favorite exchange to trade is BitGet. So if you guys want to enroll and find an exchange that's good for you, I highly recommend BitGet. Uh, super safe, and the reserves are there. So um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, have yourself an amazing day, and I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.